As far as uh, Magnus and Fabi are concerned, uh, Miro, what are you expecting from these two illustrious players? Uh, well, an English. Uh, <laughs> an English, as you can see, right. If, if it was an opening question, then you see to yourself, well, D to D4, by the way, is a little bit surprising. Yes. Uh, right. It's, it's very, very principal. It always feels like, you know, this game is something special. Doesn't matter. Maybe these guys will be playing next time, or not the next time, but, you know in their 70s and we would still be, ah, okay, that's, that's Magnus and Fabi playing. So um, Fabiano just played knight a5. Knight to a5, well, what's going on, guys? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he It just goes to show how really excellent the position is for uh, Fabi here as Rook B1. I mean, he's taking his time enjoying this winning position against Magnus. <laughs> yeah, you don't get these uh, opportunities to enjoy this kind of position. But Rook B1, I think, would produce a handshake. Uh, again, you look at Magnus's body posture on the camera there. He's probably trying to figure out where he went wrong exactly. That happens to me, you know, when I'm sitting there, I'm in a lost position, I reflect on why I woke up, <laughs> what did I do, you know, where was my blunder, I sometimes, you see the player sometimes looking at their score sheet, I think yeah. they're going through that whole mental uh, rejiggering themselves, and Rook B1, and Magnus said, well, okay, I can always resign, Rook B1, check this out, um, and... Bishop takes h7, and there is an h pawn. What did he do, pardon me, after bishop takes h7? Uh -huh. Did Fabi have, yeah, we have some, an error on Lee Chess, right? Yes, <laughs> exactly. It looks like he blundered a rook, but he did not. He did not, he played, okay, he king played c7. And there we go, we have a handshake. And we do have a handshake. Wow. Uh, I thought that this was a very, very big game coming into the round today. It was, but the way Fabi won right out of the opening uh, was really something we it's don't see. It's going to be interesting to see if Magnus will recover today.